you're not gonna introduce it. <laughs> introduce what? The twinkle font face of today? <laughs> So Ben decided that he wanted to do a fiance does my voiceover. He did not study up before the voiceover. However, <laughs> I'm quite impressed with how much you knew. There were a few times where I was very, very confused where he got his terminology <laughs> from. But most of the time, I think you kind of understood what I was doing. So kudos to you. Yes. If I had to give you a grade, I would say B plus. Yes. Like, there were some things that he probably could have known. That's passing. a passing grade, so. It's passing. You know. It's better than a C. Yes, by very definition it is better than a C. <laughs> if you want to see how to get the twinkle face of today, aka the look that I'm wearing for New Year's Eve, feel free to keep watching. Um, you'll probably laugh. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this is what you'll get. Beautiful, lavishing, the twinkle face of today. <laughs> Stay matte primer. It's primer for your face. Squeeze a lovely glob out and gently massage it between your hands and apply generously all over your face. Grab these products that seem to be foundation and you apply it to your hand. Oh, you're, you're mixing the two. So you mix it in so that they both blend well and you splotch Oh, on both sides of your face, you blend it in with the squeegee ball. <laughs> Be sure not to stab yourself in the eye. Continue splotching generously until your whole face is covered in foundation. Because that's <laughs> what foundation's for. It is the foundation on which the makeup rests. More foundation, um, fine brush to apply more <laughs> dry foundation instead of creamy foundation to thy face. Shadow, eye shadow, so just a little dot, mix it in very finely and apply, apply it above your eyes. Alright, uh, color pop, um, it's upside down. Ah, it's for the color on the eyeshadow. And to add a little twinkle <laughs> above your eyes, hashtag shameless plug. So you'll want to go for a medium white horsehair makeup brush for the dry makeups. We're going with deep teal. We're gonna mix it in with some beige to blend it back. And uh, dusty plum. We're gonna apply that just on top of the twinkles to blend it in. And uh, rinse and repeat on the other side. Just the swoopy motion, kind of like wax on, wax off, except on your eyeballs. <laughs> Here's some of that dusty plum. More dusty plum, but wherever will I put it? I'm going to use a eye probing device to <laughs> gently color the inside <laughs> of my eye. <laughs> I'm going to use an eye stencil brush. Gently color the bottom portions of my eyelids. Going back to deep teal, I'm going to blend it under where I just applied dusty plum. I'd have to scrape off excess 
Now the real fun begins as we use a permanent marker to write our names on our face. <laughs> Just the edge. Make an accent on the upper eye. Be sure before going into this that you know how to draw straight lines over curved surfaces. And now we add our wings and we take flight. Now we take a golden big shot eye shadow. I uh, make our eyelashes pop. The freakier you make your eye look when you do this, the, the better the results. And don't neglect the bottom eyelashes. And some people would say, on fleek. Now another palette of varying makeups. Very skin tone makeups for our lips. Ah, th these are our blushes that we are now applying to our cheekbones. We have two of those. Now, to blend we use another version of pink. Be sure to Squinch your face to the opposite direction that you are applying your makeup, or it will not work. Chocolate something, I, I, uh, I didn't read it. It'll also blend in with our other two colors. Now a uh, matte finish Finimart spray <laughs> that we will apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Be sure that you choke on it. <laughs> because that is half of the experience. You must air it out with waving your hand or your mirror and palette. Don't know the title of this product, but we will uh, definitely be putting it on our face somewhere. Probably our lips. Broad strokes across the bottom lip and then apply on the upper lip after Pressing both lips together, be sure to do the little wave in the middle of your mouth or you'll look like a buffoon. <laughs> you can never apply too much lipstick, so just go ham wild during this part. That is how that went down. As you can see, Ben was a gentleman and a scholar and I appreciate you guest voiceovering on my channel today. If you liked this video or if you thought any of Ben's comments were funny, which uh, clearly I did, <laughs> um, feel free to like this video. Uh, comment down below what you would grade him if you had to give him a grade on a scale of like A to F. I gave him a B plus as we mentioned before, but you know, maybe I'm just being biased. No Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you guys in my next video. You might see him at some point. <laughs> Bye guys. Toodles! Okay. Like, you so... have to do an introduction and everything too. I do? You gotta give a rundown of what today's look is gonna be. And... <laughs> oh god. You I agreed to this. I wasn't prepared for it. Alright. You're gonna be applying it, right? I'm right. not gonna no, be... Right, no, no, no. This, this is me. I'm putting on my face. own makeup. Okay. But you're gonna be telling them what to do to recreate this look. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ferris, wish me luck. <laughs> a, B, or C, D, or F. What? Like a grade scale.